What's going on guys? So you are in for something really cool. Check this setup out. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably recognize this Class B Winnebago. This is actually my father's motorhome and he really loves it. This thing is super cool. He uh, actually traded in a pleasure way that had a, it was kind of a cutoff. It had a much larger back box and it was a single rear wheel uh, class B for this. And this thing is super, super cool. We've done several videos on this. Shoot, even uh, Matt's RV reviews. He came out here and he reviewed this. So a lot of content on this one already. Just look up Winnebago, big truck, big RV, and you'll probably find this both on my channel and even on Matt's channel. But that said, look at this setup. So there's a very specific reason why my dad's van is now hitched up to, or at least the EPRO's hitched up to my dad's van. Behind it, you'll see a Flagstaff EPRO. Let's talk about what's going on here and give you a quick tour of this RV. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so the reason why you see this EPRO hitched up to the back of my father's Mercedes Sprinter van is because the sleeping accommodations in this van aren't that great. It's essentially a like almost like a micro love seat that folds out into a bed and it's not very comfortable. You can feel the crease between the mattresses and that's the one thing he's complained about. The second aspect of it is sometimes when you go to a campground, if you're not towing a vehicle behind you, you either have to stay hooked up at the campground or you have to disconnect every single time you want to go. And if you're dry camping or if you're in an area where you're boondocking, that could mean giving up your spot. So this gives him two really great, really great uh, capabilities by having this EPRO hitched up behind him. First of all, this thing is super, super lightweight and it's tiny. This is probably the smallest EPRO you can get that's not considered like a teardrop trailer. Also, the fact that it now gives him what he lacks in his RV. Let's kind of show you what's going on in here. So I guess I should probably lead off by saying he purchased this pre-owned at Explore USA here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, they had this one traded in. I guess the folks who had this decided to trade it in on something much larger that they could full-time in, and they had just gotten this in. And my father's journey and trek to find something like this took him a long time. And what was funny is he was actually looking at this specific model when they happened to get one in, used, at a much lower price, in really, really great condition. So what you're looking at here is a Flagstaff E-Pro. This is the E15TB, which stands for twin beds. But they've made some changes in here which actually benefit what my father is trying to do with this. So we're gonna go up the steps. So first of all, you'll look at this really cool compact kitchenette right to your right when you walk in. Nice light colored cabinetry, bottle opener right here. Three burner gas cooktop, something that's kind of rare. You don't see a lot of three burner cooktops in something this small. And it has a nice stainless steel single basin sink, something else you typically don't see in a unit this small. But as I pan to the left, check this out. So this comes with two, essentially there are two benches and then it kind of wraps around and it gives you the ability to use it as a dinette. But the previous owners actually installed two Tempur-Pedic mattresses on top of it, which made this a king size bed. And that's exactly what my father was looking for. When he was talking about doing this and going to this setup, the one thing he said is we would love to have basically a bedroom, a master bedroom that you can pull behind you. And check out the windows that flank it. So you got windows on all sides of it. You have a lot of light that comes in, a lot of extra storage, and this is really gonna help him too because now he has all the extra storage he would need whenever he's you know, going somewhere because he's towing it with the van. You got a Dometic compact refrigerator. This is a gas electric refrigerator. And over here, you have a wet bath. Now for them, the wet bath is gonna be primarily a bathroom. I don't think they're gonna use the bathroom in here because believe it or not, their class B actually has a full bathroom in it. It's not a wet bath. So the whole back of the van is split up between a dry bath and a full shower. Very cool. But if they did wanna use the shower in here, this does have the shower miser. So it's got the little indicator right there which recirculates the water until it changes color and that lets you know that the water's hot so you're not wasting a bunch of water. But I guess what's nice about this is, is if they go camping with other people, they now have the ability to let some folks actually take a shower in here and they could take a shower in their van. So they've essentially doubled their accommodations and their capabilities of cooking because they have their microwave, their burner, their sink, everything here, plus a ton of storage. This RV came equipped with the TST tire pressure monitoring system. 
which is really nice. He also has a Furion camera that's already been installed. So he has the display in the van, which is gonna give him the ability now to see behind the van as well. This is almost the most ideal setup you could get for this type of an RV. Look at all the extra storage here. He has a furnace in here. I mean, this is super cool. And the light airy colors really make it feel vibrant in here. It makes it feel lively and, and fresh. That is awesome. The windows flanking the bed, I think look absolutely fantastic. And he has a small TV right here as well. This is like ideal for what they're trying to do. And I think that they just nailed it with this specific floor plan. It was really difficult for them to find the perfect floor plan, but not just the perfect floor plan, but one from a reputable manufacturer. Of course, you could go Airstream or other brands that are sixty, seventy thousand dollars for something smaller than this. But to get an ePro, which is a good quality RV, and to be able to get it set up the way they want, exactly in the floor plan they were looking for, that's easily towable by their van, was the challenge. So yeah, a lot of really cool things going on here. Anyways, let's take a look at the outside of this unit as it starts to rain. Okay, so starting from this side, we're going to work our way back. Let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is a 2021 Flagstaff ePro. has a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,866 pounds. Very low gross vehicle weight rating. The dry weight on this unit, which is down here, is only 2,539 pounds. Very cool. has a single 3,500 pound axle, which almost meets the actual gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer itself. So that's a good number to have. And it rides on 15 inch C-rated tires. These are those kind of off-road inspired Westlake tires. It has a nice, nice clearance to it. So it doesn't sit too low to the ground. Very, very short unit as well. Starting up front, you got your power front tongue jack. You got a spot for dual 20 pound propane cans. It has dual batteries already in place. Very nice, working our way back. You have your sewer connections all right here. You have scissor jacks on all four corners. Outside shower, 30 amp connection for your AC and other power needs. You have your city water connection here, plus you have your black tank flush as well as your water tank. Right here's the outside of your water heater. Very cool, underneath it, this is gonna ride on a single torsion axle. Also another standout feature you get, plus a really nice low point drain right there if you wanna dump everything that's inside of your water tank. You got some storage here on the back. It's already kind of got it loaded up with some stuff and I love how it kind of wraps around this way. So you also have side storage over there and it is a ton of storage under here. I don't know if you can see all the way to the front, but they give you a tremendous amount of storage and it's accessible from either the side or the back. All LED lighting. You can see the Furion camera up top there. This is that other side entry or side access panel. Again, more room over here. Plus you have a nice power awning up here as well, plus some outside speakers. This is the area that you can hang like a barbecue pit outside. 110 power out here as well. And again, this does have the, uh, the tire pressure monitoring system that's included. Plus it has the Moride step above steps already on it as well. Wow, so it has the, uh, the screenshot right here, plus it has the blind in the window. This thing is pretty, pretty well equipped. Either the previous owners did it, or I'm sure they did because it looks like they've traveled to a few places. But yeah, this, uh, this definitely came well equipped. And these things are built very, very well. All right, coming to the front, full fiberglass cap up top as well. And I believe there is a single solar panel on top. There is, it has a flexible solar panel up top there as well. Plus they have the max air vent already on it. This thing is super cool, very well equipped. It's, a, it's surprising that they found this because this is one of those units that a lot of folks would absolutely fall in love with if they had. Very, very cool. And real quick, before we wrap the video up, I'm gonna walk you over to the van just so you can see what the bed looks like. And it's in a seated position right now, but I think you'll get an idea of why this was such a desirable floor plan. Before I do that, let's talk about the hitch setup right here. So this is the only thing I don't really care for. You have your dually back here. You have all this space all the way to the back and now it's extended another, probably another 15 to 16 inches off the back. So from a towability perspective, this is gonna be like towing a boat, not necessarily like a vehicle that's flat towed. So the only thing I would, I would be cautious of is how the trailer treats the van. And we're gonna use this as kind of an experimental trip, but the van certainly has enough weight and it is a dually. It should be able to tow this without any type of an issue. But it is set up so if he does wanna add sway control to it, he can. Um, won't need weight distribution from a uh, sway control perspective he may need that but yeah this is what the setup looks like back here all right i'm gonna hop into the van real quick just to show you the back seat area 
And this is what turns into a bed. This is very, very narrow. How wide is this? 50. Like 50 inches wide. So yeah, for two people to sleep on here, it's not a lot of room and it's not that comfortable because this is a slide out. One of the few class B's that actually has a slide out pushes out and this kind of folds into a very uncomfortable bed. So you can probably see why this was a very desirable floor plan for him to go to. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. It is starting to rain on us out here and uh, my equipment's getting wet. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very, very unique setup. It's it's kind of cool that I can say this is a setup that's the relative, the, the reality behind RVing is it's kind of addictive. Once you get into it, you kind of pass it down. And I definitely picked up the RVing gene from my father. Very awesome setup, guys. We'll feature it more when we get the opportunity. But yeah, it's raining right now, but we're gonna let you go. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.